Hi all, myself Shams here. This is a video tutorial on cursor report from beginners to advanced. In this video, I am going to show you some basics about cursor report and cursor report viewer. Things like creating a new cursor report and getting started with a new cursor report. Let me open my Visual Studio. In this video, I will be using Visual Studio 2010. First of all, Cursor Report is used to design and generate reports from a wide range of data sources like database, text files, XML files, etc. Actually, there are two types of Cursor Report. One is for Visual Studio, that is for the purpose of developing the project. And another one is the runtime Cursor Report that will be used in the client system where we don't need to uh design only need to run the created uh, report so there are uh, keep in mind that there are two types of cursor report one is for visual studio and one is for uh, runtime i will be explaining the basics of cursor report with the help of a windows application for that i'm going to create a new windows application So it is new project is open with a default form here. Let me change some properties of this form first. Renaming the form title to basics of cursor report. Windows stay to maximize to avoid some of the common errors in cursor report project we need to do some pre-settings for that go to solution explorer then right click on the project then properties change this target framework to the exact framework that is .NET Framework 4 Click on S That's it After changing the framework you can see a new document here app.config Then add one attribute into the startup tag Use legacy v2 runtime activity policy to true this uh, prevents uh, uh, unwanted errors from the cursor report you can download this project from the link given below in video description so let me create one cursor report for that I am going to create a new folder if you are going to create a cursor report inside a new folder like this, you should be uh, you should name the uh, folder without any space to avoid uh, common errors from the cursor report. So I'm going to name this folder like cursor report. Now I'm going to add a new cursor report. For that, right click on the folder, then add, then go to new items. Under the Visual C sharp items, select reporting, then cursor report. I'm going to name the cursor report. Usually, I do a prefix CRPT for cursor reports so for this document i'm using cursor report hello world document and click on add ok 
keep the option keep the options as it is click on ok and just click on the finish we will discuss these data sections later in this video series so this is the uh, crystal report document crpt hello world in this uh, report you can see a report header it will be shown in the top of the report and then you can see a page header which will be shown in in the top of each page here you can see a report section for details and here you can see a report footer it will be shown in the end of the report and we have a page footer it will be shown in the end of each page okay and just deleting the default controls in this video we will be printing a label showing hello world for that we need to add a text box right click on the report header then insert then select the text box click the area where you want to place the text box and you can write whatever you want to write here i'm going to write hello world you want to format it right click on it format object then just increasing the font size Can simply drag the text box where we want to keep it and can add text box like that Other than this text box, you can see some special fields. For special fields, you can right click, then go to insert, and you can see a special field there. There you can see a lot of special fields that can be added into your crystal reports. I'm just adding the print date to show date, current date. And the page footer I need page number for that go to special fields then page number that's it now we have created a brand new crystal report with uh, some textbooks and uh, special fields now we need to show this crystal report in our windows application for showing crystal reports that we have created right now we have crystal report viewer for that go to toolbox then under reporting section you can see a crystal report viewer drag this crystal report viewer into your windows form you can see the properties of this uh, report viewer and naming this report viewer as CRV report and um, just need to change the settings to uh, hide this tool panel view for that set this tool panel view to none 
Okay, now we need to show the crystal report that we have created. That is see our pretty hello world in this crystal report viewer. I will be showing the crystal report in the form load event. For that, create an object of the crystal report CRPT. Hello world as CRPT. And now we need to reset the report source to null. Then we can set the report uh, report viewer report source to our customer report CRPT. Let me run this application. So that's it, guys. You can see report name, the hello world today, today's day, and the page number. That's all, guys. In the coming, in the upcoming videos, we will be discussing the further development on cursor report. You can download this project from the link given below in video description. Please be subscribed to my channel .net more for awesome videos like this. Please like and share the video for better reachability among C sharp developers. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.